everyone, Mike here. I want to spend a few minutes going through the niche finder tool of the Avocado in a Pond uh, website. For anybody who isn't familiar with this tool, uh, basically what it is is what you see on the screen. Uh, this tool provides you with uh, enough information about certain niches, certain designs, so that you can use that information and uh, list designs in those categories yourself. So basically what you will get is the brand title information, BSR, and then what I would consider the, the most important information, uh, monthly BSR change and monthly sales, of course, in addition to the product type, the type and estimated for sale. Now, Again, you can use this information any way uh, you want or any way that you believe is useful. But knowing, for example, that this product was uh, listed in June of 2019, it's a pop socket and it generates about uh, four monthly sales. Uh, you can see if it's if it's worth your while. Now, anybody who's seen any of uh, these videos before. Uh, understands the the purpose behind this tool, but but for anybody who's watching this for the first time, I'll just go over it quickly. Now the theory is instead of you chasing that one uh, design or one product that that you believe will you know sell uh, thousands of items each uh, month, each week, whatever you know your idea is, uh, the idea behind this tool is to play uh, the long term game basically play it safe so if you have let's say a hundred or a thousand items for sale that generate you know two to four sales a month now you're talking uh, about you know 400 to 4,000 uh, monthly sales and and that's huge especially if you're in a you know tier 4,000 6,000 8,000 whatever the case is so so the, the numbers basically add up Okay, enough about all that. Let's get some of these designs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this uh, quickly, but but of course you'll be able to pause this video and, and look at the information yourself. So the first one is a pop socket. So let's let's look at that. This is the design. So it's basically it's a lash o'clock, black design, not much to it. It's a couple of eyelashes, and um, what I'm going to do here is just basically look at the title. Um, the brand name and then the price so the title in this case uh, all of this here after pop socket is generated by amazon so so this is what the seller has entered in so eyelash artist it's lash o'clock makeup lashes gift so basically what i see is uh a lot of uh keywords search terms this title is loaded with all that and then there's some repetition here uh, you know, with Lash Artist, Shirts Company, and uh, this this person has actually used uh, the key points or um, descriptions uh, that they were available with, again, uh, loading it up with certain keywords such as uh, Eyelash Extension Artist, uh, Makeup Lady, Brow Artist. So basically, any combination of the search term that anyone would be uh, looking for anything to do with eyelashes so so this is what it looks like uh, as we've seen uh, it it gets about four sales a month and the price is uh, $14.99 in my opinion nothing special but again it, it's important to to kind of uh, zoom in or target that niche audience and get those sales okay so the next one, this one is uh, Yellowstone National Park apparel and, and gifts. Now, when I was actually looking at this originally, I'm not sure if, if Yellowstone is actually branded or trademarked. So uh, what I would say is look into that. I, I did pull this up. This is basically uh, the, the storefront and, and there isn't a storefront. Usually what you would have for a certain brand or a company is you would have a very nicely organized uh, storefront, like I said, with a bunch of other information, but this doesn't. This this basically has this 107 
uh, items for sale and and you know they they're all to do with Yellowstone National Park but again it gets a few sales a month as you can see here it's a very uh, simple design but I what I want to show you is that the price is $19.99 so that's a, you know this is a, a profit margin of about five bucks but but the most important thing it, are the keywords that are getting picked up so basically what is getting picked up is Yellowstone National Park established 1872, which is basically everything that you would want to be picked up in this case. And it's a it's a T-shirt. It has one rating, and uh, it gets a few sales a month, three to be exact. Just a girl who loves corgis and Christmas shirt, four sales a month. This is a hoodie sweatshirt. Uh, Let's see what it looks like. So in this case, it's not a hoodie, it's a sweatshirt. Uh, again, you can see who this is targeting. It's targeting uh, corgi or dog lovers, and it's a combination um, of, of dog lovers and Christmas. So, so this is really targeting uh, that niche audience and, and most likely for November and December sales. And as you can see here, this was uploaded on November 22nd, 2019. Uh, which is just about a month ago, and uh, my assumption is for this was targeting uh, Christmas buyers. Now, the brand name, as you can see here, just a girl who loves corgis and Christmas shirt. The exact wording is re uh, repeated in the title, and uh, let's see if if they actually do anything else in the description. And uh, and yes, they do. So they've really loaded this with uh, uh, key keywords, search words that you think anybody who's looking for this type of a gift shirt is looking for. So again, corgi, dog lovers, dog owner. I love my dog. So they really go into that whole dog thing. And, and I don't think that the Amazon really uh, likes this type of stuff. But again, if it's passing and getting sales, I guess you do what you have to. So again, a great outfit for men, women, kids, boys, girls. Uh, you know, as you can see here, it's really loaded with uh, uh, keywords and, and search terms. Let's see what it's, what's next. Strangle Things Jiu-Jitsu. BJJ Strangle Things. So Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, two sales a month. This is a t-shirt. And as you can see here, anybody who's seen the, the show, Stranger, uh, show Stranger Things, uh, this is basically, uh, you know, playing off of that. But the way that this was marketed, it was for jiu-jitsu and, and more specifically Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, so it's a mixed martial art. Uh, so it would be people who either like or train jiu-jitsu and like the show Stranger Things. So basically what it says is Strangle Things and um, the brand name uh, again, you can see here, Strangle Things Jiu-Jitsu. The, the item title is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Strangle Things. And uh, the price is $19.99. Keywords that are getting picked up are Strangle Things Jiu-Jitsu. Basically, uh, pretty much anything that, that you would want. And, uh, you know, you have a bunch of these shirts. Uh, you're, now you're getting, you know, 10, 15, 20 sales a month. This brings us to our last one. Brand is uh, Poppin' Tops. You know what I'm saying. Two sales a month. It's a t-shirt. And uh, it was uh, listed very recently, about two weeks ago. So basically what this is, is uh, you know what I'm saying. And as you can see here, uh, the way that they... Uh, sell it is it says funny t-shirt for those who like to use shortened phrase uh, and uh, it's just plain text there's really nothing to it as you can see here they've uh, priced it very very low it's uh, $15.99 and I'm assuming uh, that's because um, you know it was a uh, well actually the, the other page I must have misread it I thought it was listed recently but it's not it's been up for a while it must have been edited recently uh, so basically this is getting 
uh, two sales a month. And, and again, the, the whole point of this, and I'll just go back basically to say that in my opinion, this design is uh, extremely simple. I'm not going to say that it's not clever. And, uh, and the whole point is that these people know their target audience. So, so the way that they're marketing this is still getting them two sales a month. Now multiply that by a hundred uh, shirts like this, which you can probably pump out in a day or two, and uh, you know you're getting two to three hundred uh, sales a month. So one more time, I just want to look at this: uh, four to two sales a month, pop sockets, t-shirts, sweatshirts. Uh, U.S. marketplace. Basically, your ideas don't have to be exceptional. It, it really comes down to uh, finding a way to uh, getting in front of the people who you are basically targeting. And, and again, as you can see here, even this uh, design is uh, honestly you can you can come up with this and, and design it and finish it in about. Uh, five minutes, but it's uh, it's getting four sales, uh, which is great, right? It's it's not surprising because anything that you you actually advertise in the right way will get you sales. Um, but but again, not to be judgmental, it's it's not a you know exceptional. It's not an extremely amazing design where if you saw anybody wearing this, you would say you know what I want this. It's basically a funny shirt for the season. But again, uh, we're not here to be clever. We're, we're here to make money, and, and that's what this is doing. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, let me know, guys, uh, what you think, what your ideas are. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, uh, leave a comment down below to let me know uh, what you think of this. Thanks.